Hi, this is Andrea from One Nine Design, and I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Google Analytics tracking ID in just a few simple steps. So the first thing that we're going to do is head over to the Google Analytics website. And to get there, we're just going to go to analytics.google.com. And once we are there, we're going to be prompted to sign in to a Google account. You do need to have a Google account to use this service, but of course, a Google or Gmail account is free. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and sign in to my personal Gmail account so that we can do this from scratch since I already have a um, Google Analytics account for one nine design my business. So now I am signed in to Gmail and I have the ability here to create a new analytics account. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over here to create new account. And this is where I'm going to set my account name. Now you can have more than one website in one analytics account. So the name can be somewhat broad if you want to. So this is just going to be Andrea Shirey test account. That can just, again, be whatever you want it to be. It is up to you whether or not you keep these data sharing options checked. Of course, sometimes those are helpful, but some people do not want to share the information with Google and that is completely up to you. For this test case, I'm going to just keep them checked. The next thing I'm gonna do is click the next button and I'm going to choose what it is I want to measure. Now, in this case, we are just concerned with setting up analytics for a new website. And so we're going to keep the default option checked here at the top. And then next, here is where we are going to list the first website in our analytics account. And again, we're going to be able to name the website. So this is going to be Andrea's test website. That can be the name of your nonprofit, the name of your organization, whatever you want it to do. The second thing we want to fill in here is the URL of our actual website. So that is our domain name where people go to find our website. And in this case, I'm using a test site and this is going to be Andrea's adventures squarespace.com and next we need to choose an industry category this is relevant because google is going to give us an idea of the average for our industry and we want to be able to use that relevant data so just choose the one that is the closest um, to your business or your nonprofit. Um, in this case here i'm just going to choose um, books and literature and create and uh, of course, we're going to get some um, service agreements here. So go ahead and read the terms of service for Google Analytics, of course. And then I'm going to click accept and go ahead and accept. And um, in just a few seconds, really less than maybe, okay, maybe a couple minutes, um, we have gotten our Google tracking idea, ID. And this is the magic number that we wanted right here. Now, that is the purpose of this video. We have completed that purpose. I'm going to take this one step further for Squarespace users. If you have a Squarespace website, I'm going to show you where to put this tracking ID. So we're going to head over to my test website and we're going to insert our Google uh, tracking ID into my test website. So once I have logged in to my Squarespace website, this is my homepage, I'm going to come here and I'm going to copy this tracking ID, just a command C, and over on my Squarespace website, I'm going to go to settings and then down to advanced and right here to external API keys. And right here is the box to put in my Google account number. You can see I tested this earlier. So I'm going to just paste right in there and click save. And now I have added the Google Analytics tracking ID to my website, which means that Google can now track the visitors to all of the pages on my website.
I do not have to add that individually to each page. And if I come back over here and hit refresh, I should be able to see here that my property has been added and it can even see here that we have one active user and that's me right here on this tab. So that is all we have to do to set up our tracking ID number and to add it to our Squarespace website. If you are using a WordPress site, there are multiple plugins that you can use to um, integrate Google Analytics with your website. Right here is your global site tag that you will need to add to your site as well. Um, multiple options with a WordPress site. I do not coach on WordPress, so I'll direct you over to Google to find more information for WordPress. This is a beginner's video on just how to add the tracking ID number um, to your Squarespace website and to get started on Google Analytics. I will be releasing more videos on how to um, understand and use your Google Analytics dashboard to create custom dashboards and how to improve your website based on the data you have. If you'd like to watch those videos, please subscribe to my channel and follow me um, over on my website, 19design.net.